Ah, Melissa. Uh, Mr. Yakitori and his aides. Yokoso. Uh, no, no, sweetie, Japanese. Play this right, there's a scooter each. Oh, we just ordered our traditional drink, Chizano Bianco. Oh, a fusion of superb Italian wines and aromatic herbs. One of our most refined European customs. <laughs> oh. oh. I think they like you, Marissa. Hi there and welcome back to the channel and today on my bench uh, I've got my two vintage first generation Sony Betamax video recorders. Uh, this one which is partially undressed uh, is the Sony SL8000UB uh, uh, and this look has a panel like that. Um, and over on this side I have got uh, the Sony sl 8080 UB. Now the difference is is that this one has uh, play, rewind, play fast forward so you, it doesn't show you anything but you can rewind and fast forward and let go and it will do that. Uh, also it has got uh, freeze frame capabilities where this one simply pauses and blanks the screen. So uh, it's a pretty good picture from this one here. This is currently playing UFO if you know the TV series, Jerry Anderson from very very long time ago before my time um, this is currently playing that clock is correct and it is a little bit dim um, this one had quite a few problems um, uh, actually getting going um, there was all sorts of weird little issues with it and I had to adjust it with the uh, oscilloscope and uh, get that one just right but now it's playing absolutely fine um, this one here uh, had, had even more problems um, uh, and yeah, it was essentially the uh, the, the take up and the supply uh, spool uh, sensors uh, rely on uh, detecting the uh, metal uh, leader on either end of the tape, and it does it through uh, a oscillation, uh, and it detects the differences between the oscillation as the as the metal goes past. Uh, yeah, that had problems, and you can adjust it. Uh, literally just there forward and rewind, uh, rewind sensor or oscillation adjust and that will, will get it just right and then it would what it would do it would basically stop playing uh, halfway through a tape or it would uh, rewind and then stop and then you press rewind again and stop and so on um, it also had color issues as well it's it, the picture on this one uh, is a little bit weird uh, I did replace the, the video head um, uh, nearly 10 years ago video had uh, replaced and aligned 20th of the 8th 13 that was me uh, it was a brand new video head which went in uh, but it's got some color uh, chroma issues uh, which I've never been able to really solve uh, it's possible I even actually got the video head switched around the actual channels uh, maybe I'll have a look at that and 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 even do a video on actually how to replace one of these video heads. It's an involved process. I've got the um, the alignment gorges and stuff like that, which are buried away somewhere. I uh, don't know where actually, but anyway. Um, yeah. Uh, this is... Uh, oh, I do know where actually. Yeah, it's in my loft and I know what box. Um, so this one's currently running and playing. And these machines... They don't like being stored. Uh, I've replaced all the belts in these machines that one this one here 10 years ago this one probably about eight years ago um but it's been at least five years since i've run them properly four or five years so yeah again they just like to be come out you know play get the capacitors um uh, warmed up and, and reformed um get all the mechanisms uh moving they do suffer from the eject switch um, when you push the actual tape down. So if I stop that and I show you, uh, if I just eject like that, there we go. So when you actually push the tape down, it automatically laces up the actual tape. So if I do that, that movement down uh, touches a switch, which then tells the servo that actually it should go off and do things. Often that switch is uh, oxidized and doesn't actually do anything uh, and both of these machines had that and it's taken quite some time to clean and, and so forth to actually get them to work 
so yeah, yeah this one here is, is it's running it's got a picture it's reasonable but I can see uh, chroma issues and all sorts of things this one over here uh, has got an, an absolutely excellent picture it's really very very good indeed um, uh, yeah uh, if I just show you the fast play and for, uh, fast forward that's it <laughs> this is 1979 oh yeah there we go yeah so it's pretty good this machine um, so yeah this is a, a quick video uh, just showing that sometimes with when you collect this type of gear you can't just leave it in the loft you've got to actually get it out and actually use it every so often otherwise it will degrade and uh, and, and break down um, these I'll be running now this has been running for two days all the way uh, all day time uh, for two days now uh, various different tapes um, this one here uh, I've only just got down about a couple of hours ago and that's been running I think it's got a Monty Python tape in there of some sort. So, yeah, well, thanks very much for uh, watching. Um, this is just a quick video just to say that, show that actually when you have this type of gear, you can't just store it. You need to actually use it. Um, otherwise, you will lose it uh, and it will go wrong. Um, thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. And I will see you on the next video.